Hey guys, I wanted to show you one of my most recent scores. I just got this off the Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks. They said the power nozzle and the brush hole end quit working. So if the rest of it works, except for the nozzle. So let's uh, just do it this way. About to see. First time I've had this to plug it in or anything. Watch it be the brush roll on off switch. Now it sounds like it's trying to churn. <laughs> Anyways, the next shop I go to normally has one just like this. So, the idea is for a parts machine, I'm gonna try to buy the uh, power head off of him for parts. But, let's uh, tear into this a little. Guarantee they've never washed the filter. One sec. Oh, I actually just to twist to release. Yeah, top of this is clean. It's a fairly clean filter. Decent amount of dust. Yeah, it just goes on and twist. So, we're gonna line this back up. There you go. And you just twist and it locks. Um, my other one had. Yep, so is this. It's pretty clean. Don't smell bad, so... They took good care of it. Just a little dust in there. It's not banged up too bad. So, you know. This is just one of those things that you stumble upon. That the people just... Don't know what they're selling. But I just don't. To me, it has too much of a high pitch whine. I don't think it should be there. So let's go. Still upstairs. Sorry. Shaky camera work. Up here in this room is the original one ton of layer. This is a sand around for a while. So I'm gonna plug it in. Let's see if it has any high pitch squeal like the steerable does. Um, I need to clean this one. Last time I used it, I think I clogged it up. So. I mean, well, this one, the brush doesn't turn on until. a certain tipping point on the base. Then it comes on. Um, I don't quite think it's 
Just needs a really good cleaning so the protective wrap on the Hoover symbol. This one's peeled. But I mean it's got the adjustable handle. That's in its full height. So hang on one second. Let me wrap the cord up. I have both of them and I'll give you a quick side by side comparison. But I'm just hoping it's like a tilt switch issue on them. Actually, I've heard that I, uh, some uh, Walmarts, they actually have these wind tunnel steerables for 60 bucks. Like 69 bucks or 70 bucks. At least that was up for the, my friend that lives up in Michigan was saying. It's a side by side comparison. Um, dirt cup, I believe, is exactly the same. It is. <laughs> Never would really tell. Let's see here. Minus, you know, this has got a silver, this is more of a dark gray. Vice versa. This really needs cleaned. Like I said, I really need to clean my original wind tunnel here. But yeah, this was a display unit at a vacuum store, according to the vac shop guy I bought it from. Then this just said, you know, the power nozzle wasn't working anymore. So I'm just hoping it's something with the, the tilting of the nozzle. And I just wanted to show you what I'm thinking of it. This one right here, I got it for free at the mini meet I went to recently. See the hood's cracked and it's really badly warped. The bag's all messed up. It's, uh, this is my other one. I do, in fact, have the headlamp. I just gotta put another pin on it to hold it into the hood. But that is currently just stuffed. I can't remember exactly where, but it is stuck inside right there, inside of the bag for now. I actually got those both from the same place at two different mini meets. Then this is one of my most recent purchases just for the heck of it. It's a brand new missile power force. So we got that now to mess with. You all know the power force turbo. Like I said, then I got these two buggers to mess with. Anyways, hope you enjoyed.